Hey guys, it's been a week since we poured the concrete. So each one of these is four feet deep, 16 inches in diameter, called for 13 bags per, per each one. And so I mean, that comes to like just over 6,000 pounds of concrete. And then that's what, seven, 780 pounds for each footing so I wanted a good heavy base on this uh, just so they don't want it to go nowhere so um, now that they have cured out I'm gonna put this other rack together I got it goes there and then uh, get it bolted down uh, the kit comes with concrete anchors, you drill in and they tighten up as you put them in, or as you, tight, as you tighten them up they expand. Uh, and then maybe try to get some of the panels on, we'll see, uh, they're talking wind advisory this afternoon, so we'll see, it's going to be hot too. Some of the hottest days we've had this summer so anyways yeah we'll get started on this okay so i got the rack kind of in position here Got a, still got a drill and put the anchors in, but goes together pretty good, pretty quickly. Um, so this is actually two of the racking kits, and uh, I bought an extra splice here, put to put them together, so it just help with rigidity with the wind and stuff like that so um, yeah it's looks pretty good sitting there so I guess I'll uh, get the anchors in and on to the next step
So that wasn't so so bad. One down, seven more to go. So once I get them all put in, I think I'll put my panels on and then I'll go through and I'll tighten up all my the rest of the bolts. That way everything's kind of lined up. So yeah. We'll get the rest of this done and then we'll be back. All right, well, I got four panels up, four left to go. It's getting pretty hot out here. And the wind's getting some pretty strong gusts, so I don't want to try to be handling these panels by myself in this wind. You can see the trees whipping around here, but yeah, pretty good for today. Well, I got all eight panels up now. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I, you know, for doing it by myself, I would suggest if you're gonna be putting, especially bigger panels like this, have two people. But usually it's me and myself. So I got them up. Uh, it was a little bit of a chore. Well, that first panel kind of slid off the rack as I was trying to put the second panel on, but. Uh, they're all on there, they're all secured. Life is good, so. Uh, 4,240 watts in total. Uh, I believe if I did the math right. And these are 535 watt panels. Paid 150 bucks a piece for them. Had to drive about a hour to go get them, but they were new so couldn't really squawk at that i got some wiring here to do uh i did run a bunch of extra wires so that i can add more panels later on or if i you know one of the wires goes bad or whatever so uh, go like this and if you look along that fence line there that's where I want to put my other panels that I have up on the house right now, eventually. Uh, that might be a wintertime project, but that's where I'd like to just put them along there. Get a little more use out of them. Uh, so, yeah, this turned out really nice. My mess of wires and these are bifacials, so I think once we get some snow on the ground, that should help them. But overall, I'm happy with the racking and the panels as far as installation went. Uh, everything looks pretty good, so yeah. So. I guess that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you back for the next video.